This video is very important because I want to show you some tips after the fresh wipe as a fresh and early player, some builds, some early weapon builds and some methods how you could start the fresh wipe. Let's go! Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys out there, glad to see you again and I want to start before we show, before I want to show you some weapons, I want to show you and give you some tips about some methods what you could do in the first days of the fresh wipe. It really depends if you have a lot, a lot of time or if you are a general or let's say a casual player. So I want to point out if you are a casual player, maybe the normal questing is a good method for you. But be aware, everybody is going to play customs the first day. So customs is going to be very crowded. So maybe you should point out a different map for your best practice and I want to give you three maps for the first days which you should farm and the first day is one of my favorites it's woods and woods is very great because on woods you can find a lot of things which you need for quests and you need them for for money and you need them for everything weapon parts and all of that so woods is a very 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 important map early on you can find a lot of very good weapon attachments and the best of all it's pretty low risk compared to every other map because woods is still the biggest map in the game it's still a little bit difficult if you are not familiar with woods yeah, and you can up. earn a lot of money especially the first days and you can make a lot of progress out of woods because you have a lot of different opportunities not like the other maps the other maps have some pretty high tier loot as well on some very specific spots that's all right i know that but on woods you have a lot of play ground to dodge the enemies dodge some fights or bring yourself in a very decent position to fight back or even to bring you back in a decent position to hunt down some skiffs sturman or whatever and you can take your time because it's such such a huge map with a lot of opportunities and don't forget we still have the cultists in the game but of course we don't know what's coming with the next wipe and the next patch 12.11 because don't forget Nikita likes to surprise us but don't forget even the mechanic cigarettes quest is pretty doable very in a very easy way on woods weapon attach attachments in the suppressor sh in the suppressor shack and a lot of different stuff woods is very great and i want to make a full loot run again for you guys in the next hours that you are prepared for woods my second map is labs and labs is a pretty high risk labs is a very very high risk for two ways the first one is a key card is very expensive in terms of the money you have early on let's say a key card is 100 150 thousand ruble which is the price for for early on key card it's a lot of investment but you need labs this wipe especially this wipe because you need the thermite and everything to make some very decent crafts and that's the point what i try to say if you are focusing on the hideout you need labs as well i try to focus on the demand of the player base and i want to collect some very nice items from labs early on but if we have let's say very very good players with good gaming chairs rgb gaming chairs and field mics and all that if you can't beat the very special players let's call them very very special players if you know what i mean labs is going to be very hard and a lot of pain same as the last wipe patch 12.9 and a little bit in 12.10 but let's hope for the best in patch 12.11 because i really enjoy labs and if you are interested in i want to make a labs guide because you should try labs and you should try it even today because labs is for free and it's the end of the wipe my next two maps are reserve and interchange on the same spot why because if you go on interchange pretty pretty early on first one or two days you can make a lot of money and you have let's say a little bit of free space because everybody's doing quests exploring the new factory expansion of that 
So you should go on interchange, ignore the quests, go on interchange early on if you want to make some money, if you collect, if you want to collect fuel and all of that, you should focus on interchange early on. Same as reserve. Reserve is kind of the same spot and has kind of the same loot, of course. Reserve is a little bit better in my opinion because you have a radar, you have glue car with a lot of guards. A lot of scavs, of course, a lot of scavs players, but your chance to grab some loot on in on reserve is very good because you have a lot of different spots which you can go for the very good loot. That's my tip for which map or which method you should pick. Maybe you shouldn't go for the hideout first. Maybe you should go for some money because if you can get a lot of money early on, you can get a lot of good gear early on, which will bring you ahead as well. But let's point out, let's say you are, we are fresh player in the next patch, which of course we all are. I want to point out three different guns, which I will run for a very long time. First one is the PP-19 and MP5 on the same spot. As you can see, the PP-19 is a little bit easier to get, in my opinion, early on, because you only need four T-plugs and you can barter the PP-19, of course. Same as the AK-74, the PP-19 is quite easy to get from scavs, and the thing is with the PP-19, look at it. The stats are pretty good. Of course you have this low fire rate, but this low fire rate is especially early on with a fresh character pretty good because you can handle the recoil quite well. On top of that you can easily modify it, easily, it's no problem to put a proper grip, let's say even the wooden <coughs> AK grip, the AK handguard is decent, but of course you only get minus 1% recoil, so what you should do for the maximum recoil reduction you can grab the Zenit B10 grip, you can grab the RK4 front grip and you will get a decent ergo and 48 vertical recoil. On top of that you can mount the Cobra side on it and don't forget the Cobra shade. And this is, ladies and gents, a pretty, pretty decent, very cheap build early on. Same as the MP5, you can't do a lot of with the MP5 early on because you don't have the handguard suppressor and it's even hard to get some proper um, scopes with the right, let's say, mount of course. But the MP5 is very nice, especially the MP5K early on if you rush for dorms, if you rush for some close quarter action with the Kiver M face shield and some level 3 or level 4 armor MP5. I love that thing. I made a lot of videos about some budget builds and especially the MP5 and PP19. I will link them into the video description of course and in this video. And this one is pretty new. It's the AK-74N. Why the AK? Because they buffed the AK and I think the AK is going to be great in this patch, especially early on. Same as the PP19, the modification is quite easy. As you can see, even the wooden grip is very easy to get and as you can see right now the best method same as the pp19 get the b10 rail some proper grip and you can mount the cobra side with the shade of course on the ak and this ladies and gents is also a very decent build so this is my top three what you also can do can do is the rfb the rfb is very nice it's in my opinion the best budget build for some 308 or let's say 762 by 51 in Tarkov, some very decent rounds. You only need a proper grip scope and that's it. And you can run on woods, reserve, shoreline, all of that. I like the RFB, especially early on. So what you also should and can do is get your information. That means get your information about the next quests. What do you need? What sh you should what do you should collect? And all of that stuff is very important because especially early on, everything can be very, very useful and has a certain value. And of course, think about the sugar. S think about stuff which will have a certain value during the end or mid status of the wipe, like sugar and chocolate and all of that. But you are here on the Inside FPS gaming channel and we will help you and we'll push out a lot of fresh and new videos with patch 12.11 for Escape from Tarkov. Right now I'm interested in your opinion and what do you think about the next patch? Of course stay tuned for some new and fresh videos on this channel and right now it's your turn. Don't forget to like this video because we Germans, we lost today against 
England. That's why we want to win at least something. And that's why I need your like for this video. And see you next one. Stay safe, guys.